Welcome back. In this video, we'll have a look on how to save a request that you want to keep for later and how to share that specific request with others. So now we have multiple tabs here opened with different kind of requests. And the first thing I want you to notice is that there is a history to everything that you're doing. This is pretty similar to a browser. So everything that you have submitted so far is available right here in the history tab and you can just click a previous request and a new tab will open and you will have the information that you previously entered ready to send again. Now, this is not always very convenient to have because you'll have to go through a very long history and you probably don't know which was the right request because all look the same. And for that reason, there's the possibility of saving requests that you later need. And in our case, let's go for example, the first request is something that I'm not interested in, so I will not save it. The second request, again, I don't need it. But this third request, which is doing the authentication, is something that I'm interested in. So for that reason, I will click the save button. And in this window, I can say here the request name and I will call this maybe login. And in Postman, every request belongs to a collection. You cannot save just only one request. You need to create a collection. And let's create a collection called order management because this is what we are trying to build. And I'm gonna select order management. I'm gonna save it. And the moment I do that, you will see here that the tab has changed to collections and order management is the first collection that we have here. And inside the collection, we'll find this login. And once I click it, I want to open it again, it will be available here. And every time you make any changes to this request, you will see here that the color changes. And once you click it, you have the possibility of saying, I don't save it but you can just save it again later and it will update the information in the collection as well. Now, most of the time, probably either you or one of your colleagues or somebody else is working on a collection and it has a lot of requests inside them and it doesn't really make a lot of sense for the others to do the same, to replicate the same request. And it's quite important to share this collection with other people as well. And there are multiple ways on how you can do it and one of the quickest way to do it is to simply share a link. And for that, you will need actually an account to do that. So I will hover over the collection, click this and click the share button. And then I will go to get link and you will see that there's no, and you will see that there are no links here, get link. And I simply can copy this and send this link to anybody else and somebody else will be able to import this collection. And the way it goes is quite simple. Right here on top, you'll see a button called import. You'll click on that, import from link, paste the link. And of course we have the same collection so we can import it as a copy. But somebody who doesn't have this collection will then see the exact same collection that you have. So now let's delete this because we don't need it. Now, the second thing that you can do with this is that you send some other information or you make a change to this request. So let's imagine that you are sending a header here. You save this request and the other person goes to import, import from link, paste that request, import it as a copy and then looks inside the setters and doesn't see anything. And this is because once you have exported a collection, this is a snapshot of the moment that you exported it. And if you make changes to that collection, the link will stay the same. It will not update the information. So in case you need updated information, let's just delete this. You can go again to the link, click share, and usually get displayed here something like update link or something like that. But in case this is not showing up, you can click update link or you can click get link and there is a new link that will be generated. Generally, you will see here update link and you will have the possibility of clicking update. And then the collection will update itself again. 
Another way on how you can share the collection is again going, hovering over the collection, clicking the three dots, and you'll see here a button export, and you will be given a JSON file that you can then save or commit in a source repository or something like that, or sim simply send it as a file. And the person receiving it can again go to import and just import a file or import a folder. And then can simply go to import file and select the file that you have sent. And it works pretty similar to the way import from link worked. There's also the possibility of using the Postman REST API to access your collection. And this is especially useful if you're doing continuous integration and you do not want to all the time export links or work with links or something like that. Export files or work with links. And by using the Postman REST API, you can access your collection by using a REST API. And this is something that I'm talking about in the continuous integration section inside the Postman The Complete Guide to REST API testing course. So if you're interested in more advanced things, make sure you check that out. Otherwise, that's about it for this video. Make sure you play around with the collection, share a link, send it to somebody, import other links, and see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye bye. And just click here to continue with the next video. And subscribe right here below.